name is. YouTube, find me. You know, hey, listen, man, uh, Bliss 2 is about to be en route. You know what I'm saying? So I've been kind of busy working, like, you know what I'm saying? Working very, very hard, staying occupied, you know, trying to, you know, keep things moving forward. What's up with you niggas, man? Y'all good over there? Everybody straight? Okay. That's good. What a blessing. Let me hear. If you're straight, they can lighten up. If you're depressed, put the thumbs down. Shit, that's perfectly fine, too. Shit. Don't us always accept shit. Don't us all get depressed. Shit, everybody get depressed and sad about some stupid ass shit for a moment. But shit, what I learned to do is just like, it ain't really nothing you can do about it too long. You gotta like, when y'all be sad about something, the shit don't really last long. It just it depends on how long you think about it. Like like somebody in the crowd right now, that brother might have his girl just broke up with, him. and every night he thinking about a nigga pushing dick in her, and she doing all that whole shit that she did for you, or some nigga named Edgar, who fucking her from the back, pulling her hair, and she's acting brand new just like she was with you. That probably hurts, but guess what? It won't bother you if you go try to fuck her cousin like a real man. It won't bother you if you just block that shit out your head and just understand that's going to happen any fucking way. Because there's nothing you can do about it because it's her pussy. A lot of you niggas be getting y'all little feelings hurt thinking about some pussy that you don't, it's not yours. She will give that motherfucker to whoever she likes and tell you she didn't. So, you know, nevertheless, though. But some things hurt. You know what I'm saying? A lot of girls get upset about their men cheating and shit, like, and then you can do. But I'm just starting to understand life 10 times more, y'all. Like, I'm starting to see it, and I understand what this shit is. Like, people that fuck with me, you are a thinker. That's why you come, right? Stupid niggas form in masses, because they're stupid. Y'all listen to me. Anybody that come fuck with me on any platform, you know for a fact I'm going to say something that you're going to agree with somewhere down the line, right? Okay. Stupid niggas. The thing is about stupid niggas, like, they still come, too, because they're trying to unstupid, but they don't have the capability. But you listen to me because you know for a fact you're a thinker. This world has a population, like 90% of these niggas do not exist and will never exist. The 10% of the world us, the thinkers and shit like that, we have a chance to be something else. Just depends on what the fuck we do with it. It's kind of simple. 90% of these niggas are nothing. 90% of humans walking this planet are empty fucking souls. Little garbage pails. Not thinking they're human. They will never dream. They will never think outside the box. They'll never become nothing more than what the fuck they are. So everybody here, be encouraged, my child. Your life will be hard regardless, because you can think. The stupid niggas don't have hard lives. Everything falls in their lap. How many, how many of us here really think about it, right? All the stupid nothing people get all the blessings. There's always a stupid bitch that wins the lottery. It ain't never been a smart nigga that hits the lottery. Think about that, y'all. When do you see a genius hit the lottery? Nah, I like words. It's going to be some stupid snaggle tooth heifer or some nigga that can't count past nine is going to win a lot. That's how they balance life, right? We are in a small community of people that think like and say, no, I don't think that's right. We are wrong. It's not them. We're on the wrong planet. See, whoever plays this game, they drop certain humans off in sectors and tell them to get out of it. It's a game for real. Life is a game. Everybody that can think, right? Why do they draw next to each other? Because they're all in the same little bag of marbles. And somebody from a higher power threw in a place of stupid niggas and said, let's see if these marbles get out. Think about that. Look how long a McDonald's line is every day and we know it's killing. Stupids run this world. Smart people, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a rough time. Anybody that can think outside the box, you will have a hard time in life. Now, you have one or two things. You can either get stupid really, really quick and live peaceful, or understand you're going to take gunfire every day. 
this shit ain't for everybody. Uh, like, what, what, what this will do to you mentally, the ability, I wouldn't recommend that shit. Nah. Because you got to prepare yourself to understand that you are the only one that's going to feel like that. Well, you ain't the only one who feel like that. You'll be the only one who will verbalize it. So if, if it's 10 niggas in a room, and I'm, I'm the only nigga that'll verbalize and say, hey, man, fuck all this. I saw you put a dick in your mouth, and you just walked in here with your woman. If I'm the only nigga that'll do that, how you think they feel about me? Everybody in the room hates you because you called down the wrong. Like, I saw you do that. Why Did you tell her you did that? You're wrong. Everybody here, we're wrong together. That's why we're all going to have little songs we sing, like an avatar. We're going to hold hands, and we're going to rock from side to side. That's what we're going to do, because we're on an island by ourselves, people. By ourselves. In, in, in your family, you're probably one of the only people that think, right? I think, I think so. It ain't no nigga family's worth more than one thinker in it like that. How many of y'all is thinking? Uh, or a thinker comes every 10 generations or something with nigga family. How how you gonna think if all y'all eating chicken and hog moss and hog head cheese and chitlins? How the fuck would you be able to think? So every now and then, they make one that can think. I bet everybody here who's a thinker, how many more thinkers like you do you have in your family? Okay, cool. That means you're picked. You're picked for a fucking headache of life. But the reward will be great if you beat it. It's simple. The odds will be against all the thinkers. They will always have odds against us. All the people that say, no, that's not right. The odds will always be against you. It will drive you insane. Are you prepared for that? You're going to have to stand boldly. Like... People that don't eat meat, like on Thanksgiving, don't your family laugh at you? Ha ha, you want some meat? Ha ha. And you walk in, you just came in here wearing a gas mask because you can't even smell these dead bodies. Everybody else is celebrating and playing this Christmas and drinking soda and, oh, let me get some more. Give me a. You niggas is stacking up seven, eight, nine plates of death, walking out the house happy. And I'm the only nigga in the room that's like, y'all, I do. It's like they like, ha ha, shut up, ha ha, you don't have no me, ha ha, you can't get none of this. And you're like, I didn't want that. Ha 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 ha, you don't want any of this fucking, you don't want any turkey, mmm, this macaroni and cheese. Hey, Chaz, check this out. You want some macaroni and cheese? And I'm all the time thinking like, and I will flip that fucking table over right now and all you niggas are fainting this motherfucker. Just that quick, all that gangster shit you media is talking. If I flip this table over every one of you bitch-ass humans, that's my family. Guess what? All y'all gonna cry? Because y'all was looking for...